Hey, Chase, Jose here. Uh, we actually spoke earlier on the phone about uh, sending you this video and explaining to you what you can do to start outranking other uh, other realtor companies in Amarillo. So I don't want to waste too much of your time or mine, so let's get to it. So first of all, this is so you can stop wasting your, your money on uh, lead generators like realtor.com and all of them. Uh, so check this out. I threw your your website on this tool that I have that shows me the back end of your website and that's what I'm about to show you and compare you to these other companies which is Lions Realty and Triangle Realty so let's take a look at your keywords real quick this is what you're being found for on Google okay so keep in mind that you need to be in positions 1 through 10 in order to be found on the front page okay there's 10 positions in the front of Google Google's front page, so uh, you're, you're in position number one when somebody types this exact word right here, and it's being typed in 10 times a month, okay? So now let's keep going. Brittany Doyle, I don't know if she works with you, but that she's being searched 70 times a month, and you're, you pop up in first position for that word. Tracy Drake, Rick Thompson, fifth position, Tracy Drake. So as you can see, you stop ranking right here because now you're in the second page. So the words that you really want to rank for, like Amarillo Real Estate Companies, 20 searches a month, you guys are not being found for. You guys are not being found for any of these. Amarillo Real Estate Companies. Uh, okay, that looks like the same one. Amarillo TX Real Estate Agents, 40 searches a month. You guys are in the 22nd position. Amarillo Realtor, 60 searches a month. You guys are in the 24th position. Real Estate Amarillo TX, 150 searches a month, and you're still on the third page. Real Estate in Amarillo, 30 searches a month. Uh, homes for Sale in Amarillo TX, 50 searches a month. And see, notice how they all seem the same, but you rank differently for all of them. So, uh, it just keeps going and keeps adding up and keeps adding up. Amarillo Realtors, 200 searches a month, and you're in the third page for that. So, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of, of what it looks like. Okay, so remember, you only be ranking for pretty much this word right here and these four. So, let's see your competitors. It doesn't matter how many they have if they're not ranking for any. So, let's check them out. Let's line it up from positions 1 to 10 again. Now, check this out. Uh, 806 Homes being searched 100 times a month. And they're in the top of the page. Uh, 90 searches a month. 80 searches a month. Lions Realty, 450 searches a month. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. 806 Homes. Now uh, check it out. They're still in first position for all of these words. So you're not going to close every deal that comes in, right? But it definitely increases your chances. So it just depends how you know how how much you want to uh, dominate. Uh, because I would try to dominate for every single one of these words. So let's see here. Lions Realty, 90 searches a month. 806 Homes, 100 searches a month. Uh, let's see. And a lot of these are repeats, looks like. Lions Realtors, Amarillo TX, 30 searches a month. Country Homes for Sale, Amarillo TX, 100 searches a month. You can be found for every one of these and compete for that first position for every one. But as you can see, they're still, on, with all of these words, they're still in a pretty good position in the front page of Google for each one of them. Realtors in Amarillo, Texas, 40 searches a month, third position on the front page for that word. Okay? I just kind of wanted to really emphasize why these competitors are doing so well, and that's because they're, they have a lot invested into their SEO. Amarillo, Texas, Realtors, 40 searches a month. Um, and I wanted to show you because a lot of companies don't show you this, right? And and because they don't know, they themselves don't know how to do this. So uh, make sure you get more content on your front page so you can fit more of those keywords on your front page. Therefore, be found for more of these keywords. So you want about a thousand, a thousand words on your front page, and then five hundred, at least five hundred for each of your other pages. Um, 
So that will ensure that you can fit more of these keywords onto your page and be found for them. Uh, also behind every image, you want to you want to hide keywords behind every image, okay? So that way, Google can uh, find you for more of these. So that that's why it's so important to have more content and have keywords hidden within that content. So that's your first tip. The second tip I have for you is backlinks. What a backlink is is a link on somebody else's website that points back to yours. <clears throat> and you want your backlinks on powerful websites because those powerful websites will bring your scores up. Uh, and as you can see, you have a 21 front page power and a 14 overall website power. And let's take a look at your competitors. <clears throat> they have a 39 front page power and a 27 front page power with 1,800 backlinks. Well, you only have 236 backlinks. These guys have 6,000 backlinks, 37 front page power, 18 overall website power. So, again, backlinks are super crucial, as crucial as the keywords, because that's how you get power onto your website. Third tip I have for you is the, the map pack here. In order to outrank your competitors here on this map pack, what you want to do is, is get citations. You want to get at least 30 citations more than your competitors have here on this map pack. And the way to find that out is there's an online tools you can check that. But uh, you want to get about 30 more citations. What a citation is, is anytime you list your business name, phone number, and address on an online directory such as Yelp.com or YellowPages.com, that's what a citation is. And so that's what you want to go after. And there's, again, there's higher quality citations and lower quality citations. So those are the three tips I wanted to give you, Chase. Let me know what you thought about the video, if it was helpful or not. Um, I'll give you a call here in a couple of days and uh, check in with you. Uh, feel free to give me a call. My name is Jose with SEO Monster Design. And uh, my number is 806-268-7118. You have a good one.